Hey everyone, welcome back to the very last episode of Pitfall. And uh, we've had a slight change of location from last time. <laughs> right. Are you I just, guess going back and getting everything you missed? Yes. Before we take on the final boss, we need to go to this level I've talked about before, the Akiko Ice Caverns. This level feels like the product of a rush job. It is all just a couple of textures, and there's just a million idols hidden here. Okay. I feel like, I, I mean, I don't know what would have caused something like this, but like it feels like there was just not enough time to put more idols and hide them throughout the rest of the regular game. So they created this very easy area made of assets that are used throughout all the other levels. And again, just consists of a few textures. And um, it's very hard to navigate because of that, because a lot of them are transparent. <laughs> yeah. And put a bunch of idols in here. Yeah, so this is just this dumping ground for idols. You come here, you get a bunch of them, and then you can go to the and to the shamans and get everything that you need. Because we we, we want to have a maxed out pitfall here, right? Right. Yeah. You know, one hundred percent. One hundred percent hairy. Uh huh. And this is one hundred percent actually. So here's our first one in this area. Gotcha. Yeah. That's kind of funny that you can, you know, grab the edges of the stalactites. The yeah, stalactites. Uh, yeah, you can grab the edges of them once you drop them, and, you know, even though you're halfway in the water, that's fine. <laughs> you pull yourself back up, yeah. you know, but if you fall in, you get, you know, the frozen and ice and launched. Dude, TNT in this game. I wish this TNT was in every game. Yeah? Have you, have you seen a more awesome item? It just blasts everything. Yeah, it's just like, do you have a problem? Throw TNT at it. No, you don't. Yeah, that's how I managed to uh, get out of paying my mortgage. It was like, heal yeah, free house. <laughs> yeah. I just threatened to throw... I just I, I didn't even threaten. I just threw TNT at my landlord. and. Uh, yeah. I went to the I bank did. with like a whole bundle... And, you know, we talked it out cordially. Over my pile of TNT. Yeah. You know, I, I've always decided, I've always wanted to, they talk about how, you know, it's a great idea to buy a house with cash, and I would like to do that, um, you know, someday. And when I do, I'm totally going to have, like, just two of my friends in suits and sunglasses with a briefcase <laughs> full of money to make me look really cool. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, I guess I'd like to buy this house, and I just like snap my fingers, and out of the back of my car are these two guys in suits, with a briefcase full of money. Suits, shades, yeah. They'll be like, damn, who, who's who is this guy? I don't know. They might like call the police. Police, they yeah, they, yeah, because it's like a, they're like a drug dealer or some something. Some mobster guy or something, yeah. Gotcha. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You saved that, that guy a... from being frozen in ice. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you have kind of a moral obligation to get all the idols. Yeah? And spinges. Oh. Right. Yes, spinges can only be broken out with the ice pickaxe spin. It's very interesting. The breakdance spin doesn't do it. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, they're a real pain in the ass. They're probably my least favorite enemy. Mostly because, unlike, you know, the monkeys and the penguins, I can't kill their children to, um, stop them. <laughs> St stop them from ever coming back. Yeah, they're lucky that they don't have babies, because Pitfall Harry would just, like, go over there and just smother it with a pillow. Right. Pitfall Harry is the cause for at least, uh, ten species going extinct. Yeah, and all because he just needed to get some idols. Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely a maze. I thought it would be all along that path where you were blowing up the stalactites <laughs> and dropping them, but no, there's... Yeah, now you're getting into these side areas. Isn't it awesome that um the TNT doesn't hurt you? I mean, it's, you know, perfect. It's a perfect weapon, yeah. Yeah, if there's, like, Love no map or something of this, I could definitely see, like, you getting lost and 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I keep... I, I don't know what... I just forgot, I guess, that... You also want to be a spinjat heart, I guess. Yeah. Wake up! <laughs> Wake up! Chuck some a TNT at someone. What? Just mean finally purchase the most expensive extra health. <laughs> now you have all ten. Spin. Dude, I love the fucking spin. Look, I switched to the pickaxes now that I don't need them anymore. Relatable. I mean, the TNT was just fine. I thought that was a great cutting My point. My god, I looked away for, like, just a little bit, and that... I looked away at the most, could, you know, the worst time. Because, yeah, I was great. so confused. I was like, what, there's a crocodile right outside the snow area? Yeah, I decided, you know, we've gotten all of our, our bonuses, all of our extras, all that good shit. Well, there was something... Now, there was something worth, like, five idols, right? That you still need yeah, to buy? The, yeah, the canteen. There, there might be a shaman in here. I don't really remember. Maybe it is just 99% hairy. But I do know that this area looks rushed as hell. I don't know, the back half of this game just feels a little... Not super rushed, but a little rushed. Because, like, what even is this area supposed to... What, what is this supposed to be? Um, A bunch guess, of I, Mayan buildings where all of the ground broke. It says firebomb tower, so did St. Clair show up and just start carpet bombing the place? Why would he do that? Look, he turned it into, like, hell. <laughs> He's evil. He's super evil. Why would you do that? This is the only area where this music is used, too. It's super scary. Yeah, it's, like, like kind of intense. Yeah, theme of, like, dangerous adventure. This is when Indiana Jones is hanging off the back of the truck. Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, I hate oh. this. Oh. I hate this. Because I'm, I'm so stupid. I keep trying to jump through it. You, all I have to do is climb the wall and leap over it. I just try to do the moral thing. I mean, you think Pitfall Harry backs down from a challenge? You're 100% Harry. Yeah. To a fall. And now you ain't got time to play Boom. around. I feel like these guys just go down with one punch. It's really satisfying to just deck them. Yeah. They... Well, I said you can turn on some cheats. One of them is the super combo punch. Normally after you throw three, you know, there's like a slight break between each attack. It will allow you to just chain your attacks infinitely. So you can just... Wah, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, that's... Yeah, it's a really... yeah, that's a really cool cheat code that I don't think I've really seen. No, no there's a... The, this game has fantastic cheat codes. I need to make a bonus video showing them off. Yeah. But they're kind of a pain to enter. Oh. You have the artifacts. Now we can open the gate, and I'll be able to save my people. Someone throw a party and forget to invite me? Nikki, you have me worried. You're just in time. Mike's about to go back in time and save El Dorado. Oh, right. Nicole, Mike, Mike, Nicole. Now, let's get on with the magic and the time travel and the saving thousands of people stuff. <laughs> Nicole! You've got to trust me. And Puska. Mike's plan is suicide. The time temple inside? Powered by these artifacts can send Mike back, but they don't have nearly the power to send El Dorado back a thousand years. Lies. These are Puska's lies. But Puska can use these artifacts to fight the Spanish. They'll give him the power he needs to save his people. Did Puska happen to mention that his original plan 500 years ago was to betray my people to the Spanish? Why would you believe Puska and not Mike? What did he promise you? I'm going to go with him. Back in time, but only a few months. I'm going to find my dad and save him. It's true. What can you offer her? Consolation? I offer her back her father. Deny her this and you are colder than stone. Nicole, 
Kuska killed your father. Remember how your dad looked? I saw Puska do the same thing to St. Clair, and he's about to do it to you! Claw was right. I should have saved you. I let you down, Nikki. I messed everything up. Thanks for some a real serious moment there for uh, Pitfall Harry. Yeah. <laughs> he completely whiffed that uh, slingshot. Yeah. And no, and uh, not a slingshot. It's a, a sling, sling shot, a shot from the sling. Yeah. A slingshot shot is different from a sling shot, shot from a sling. Right. Remember oh, this? yeah, it's the fight from the start of the game. Because the whole thing was like supposed to be like, you know, the Jaguar pants and he's just like, you know, uh, they say right, right before a giant oh, yeah. Jaguar takes your life, uh, your life flashes before your eyes. And then it like, so that was all, what we were going through was like the story up to now. And so now you fight the Jaguar again, and it's much harder, obviously, because you're not invincible. But he also moves way quicker. You have to use your heroic dash, and he will, uh, he's much more aggressive. I gotta say, like, some of the faces are nice, and you know, like, the com some of the comedy moments work, but they were only able to do like 90% of what they wanted to do with these cutscenes. Yeah, they're missing like some, like, post-processing. Like, it looks very... Raw, you like know? So, like, yeah, there's no, some of it like there's no, like there needs really to be blur. Stiff. There's no blur on anybody's motions, so they look like mannequins. So it's it's missing some post processing, but yeah. So she used her, you know, her magical butterflies to power Harry up. Okay. Remember, she had the butterflies. She uh, cursed Quick Claw. Oh, she yeah. has magic powers. So she's given Harry some super duper strength. And now we fight. Burning Jaguar. He has a name, but yeah. Yeah, he was actually, uh, he was supposed to be in Metal Gear Solid 1, but was cut. I wish. So... Yeah, so, yeah, you can just barely dodge him. And when he starts getting more aggressive, he'll do several passes. Like that. Yeah. Or like that. And so you you got to be real careful here. Just got to punch him one at a time. This is actually, I'm going to tell, tell you right now, much harder than the, the final boss fight. This is the, you know, the second to last. This is Zant, you know, right before Ganon. Huh. Okay. Yes, I... Another Twilight Princess reference. I played a ton of it. And yeah, once he starts laying in you... Yeah, like the camera's going everywhere as well. Yeah, because it's, well, it's tracking the, the Puma, or Jaguar, whatever he is. It's trying to keep him in frame. See, so it, it always keeps him visible, which is nice. It's awesome that the camera has, like, this special um, programming to follow the Jaguar in this uh, scene. Yeah, like, sometimes you dodge him by a huge margin, actually, and yeah, sometimes you barely do. I mean, look at this. Look at how... Look at that. Yeah, that was, like, he, what, five times? At least. Two. Three. Four. four yeah. I... Five. <laughs> six. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Got me on the seventh. Yeah, this is not, uh... And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait. Maybe I can try and do like a sacrifice. Yeah, hit. can I just trade? I did trade. <laughs> nice. Boom. Yeah. 
You know, it wouldn't be the final boss fight if we didn't beat up an animal at some point. Right, right. right. <laughs> Pitfall Aries modus operandi. I was trying to think of that phrase, and I was about to, like, say something that was way off. Yeah, it's his Vinny Vici Verde. <laughs> or whatever the fuck. Yeah, it's his live, laugh, love. It's his caveat emptor. Ha, huh, laughing. Quick, Claw, you came back. He did come back. And somehow he was bad enough to... A bad enough dude to kill a flaming jaguar? If only Matt were here. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is the only time that loading screen is white. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, okay, so the whole place traveled back in time. Are you saying you're going to kill me? <laughs> Beak! Oh, no, I'm a cat! Oh, but I think I see what you're getting at. Alright, so here's the much easier uh, final boss fight. He became big. Jeez. Yeah, we use our, yeah, we use our pitfall Harry strength to punch these things into him. Okay. Oh. Okay. Dude, dude look how big the this uh, arena is. Yeah. There's people in the stands. Yeah, I mean, fortunate that like, yeah, you traveled back ten thousand years or whatever. You know, directly into like a you know night battle at the Coliseum, where everyone was invited. Yeah, and these guys are kind of annoying. I don't know if they're like all attacking you from off screen or something. I can. At least like the jaguar was the only thing you need to care about in the jaguar right, well, fight. Uh, a little peek behind the kimono, but that jaguar fight took me a ton of tries. Uh oh. <laughs> Plus, you never have time to do this in the jaguar fight. Right. Oh, did you hit him? Yeah, it spun around and caught him in the back. Nice. Yeah, it's cool that those don't like no. don't break after you kick them once. Yeah, and then the first um, fight, um, I had to. I I died on um, Puska the first time too, but not through any fault of mine. I like, uh, it got. I like, it glitched out, and I got like stuck in a wall. Huh. Or no, no. Um. One of those stone pillars like glitched out and crushed me somehow. I don't know. It was it was something really strange. But I like I immediately lost a bunch of health points and like died in the spot. I was like, are you kidding me? Huh? Yeah, weird. But after that glitch, uh, I had no problem get killing this guy on the first try. He's easy as pie. Honestly, I'd say that the first the fight with John St. Clair, where there's all those TNT guys, is harder than this one. This is yeah. the third hardest boss fight in a game that doesn't have that many. Yeah, the third hardest like, section, I guess. Yeah, because like in the first round of this, you were kind of getting attacked by all the other, I guess, clones or holograms or whatever off camera. But now you're like running and taking care of them so fast that, yeah, they don't do anything. And Puska doesn't and seem to do anything while they're out. So once you get rid doesn't. of them, you know, he just... And look. Yeah. He, only, he can only take one more hit. Yeah, and he only attacks you when his holograms aren't. See? You see how I got crushed? Oh. Oh, I left it in. Yeah. So that... That's what happened. Yeah, it's like you got... Stunlocked. St stunlocked in a place where Puska shot you and the hitbox the, stayed? Yeah, the hitbox stayed and killed me instantly. 
I couldn't remember if I left it in or not. Yeah, so that happened. Isn't that the biggest load of bullshit you ever saw? <laughs> yeah, it was weird. <laughs> I, I do like he has a custom animation for being like flat and he, you know, Harry does. He gets squished. Yeah. I had to include that again because it was so funny. Yeah. Yes, now. Dude, I don't know about you if that hit me. I think I'd be done. Dude, it was like you kicked a field goal right there. Yeah, it's a, it, it, like I said, it's fun how uh, powerful uh, Pitfall Area is. He's like an anime character. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yes. dun, dun, dun. Yeah, and if you just walk into those things, they um fall over those pillars. <laughs> yeah. They're that powerful. Yeah. But yeah, like, Huska doesn't do anything while the holograms are out, so... You don't even need to worry about him during that. Oh, he dodged that one. Yeah, he can be annoying to hit sometimes, but it, again, he's just not that threatening. Yeah. Like, come on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you can't freaking hit him, yes. Reminds me of... Do you remember when I played uh, Yanya Kabbalista City Skater? Uh, yeah, one of the finest games ever made. Yeah, and like, that big floating king boss that was above, like, the bowl... Uh, and, and, like, since he was so high up, the camera could never find him, so you had to just, like, ride up and pray you'd hit him in midair. And so, like, I remember I took down, like, most of his health pretty quick, and then for, like, two straight minutes, I couldn't hit him once, because I, you know, I never knew where he was. This isn't as bad, but it was still, like, yeah, Puska got pretty high up to where the camera couldn't really follow him. Yeah, but I mean, like, he's just, he's not capable of, like, the large-scale damage output, right. you know? Yeah. That, because you are, you do have a little bit of invincibility, so even when he hits you, he's usually firing a bunch of shots, and so, like, he doesn't... Oh, you got he, that one blind. Yeah, there needed to be, like, some tracking shots or something, you know? Yeah. Like, some, like, a uh, fucking, like, heat seeker or something, but, like, instead he just fires all these dumb fire... Shots, and even if one hits you, you're usually invincible for the rest of it. But well, probably a good thing, you know. Ah, uh, maybe. Better a like, fun final boss fight than a frustrating one. Yeah, true. But like the jaguar was hard. That's just what's weird about it is that there was a harder fight first. Yeah. Uh, maybe they didn't think it was harder. I don't know. Or maybe this is supposed to be like cinematic, you know. It is pretty cinematic. Listen to this dramatic music. Okay, so now he has like a firestorm on the final. Yeah, that starts coming out of the ground, and uh, that's the thing. I got I got stun locked. Yeah. And now I'm just kind of punching these and hoping that one of them flies into him, <laughs> and it did. Uh. Fucking exploded. <laughs> oh, and he turned into Battlefield Earth for a second. Hooray! Can you smell what the pit is cooking? Whoa. Princess, I've never met a prince until now. 
I love the crowd cheering every part of the song. Yeah. The prophecies didn't say anything about a cat. Well, you can't go believe in every prophecy you hear. I guess this is our life now. We'll never see our own time again. Any regrets? Two. I never got to apologize to Dr. Crane for treating him so poorly. That, and I couldn't save. Dude, I like how he was just pulling a straight. This is our life now. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Living in El Dorado. Yeah, I guess we have to to live here now. Except uh, she was able to send us back Nicole. and provide Nicole. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, Gotta pull the Sleeping Beauty. Happened? It's a long story. You know, there might be a lot of fish in the sea, but you caught a good one. You can't talk, you little liar. On the other hand, maybe you shouldn't rule out the other fish. So, what happens to you now? You heard me, Kay. I've been cursed. I don't fit into the world of man or animal. Hey, you're ever back this way? Look me up. I don't know. What if I give you All a smooch on the lips? Just get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be there to save you. Just like I did this time. Finds a way to torment me. Figures she. <laughs> Even after I. <laughs> Can you believe this shit? So kind of a weird message there. He, you know, there's a group of people who excluded him for not for being different. So she just made him like them again, and now they accept. Him. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it's a pra I guess it's a pragmatic lesson. If you want to get by in the world, sometimes you have to learn how to fit in. Oh. What next? Yeah, I thought there's he'd like get turned into a human Dr. or something. Crane, who I owe a long overdue visit, and there are some remote areas of Africa I want to check out. Roots of mankind. You need to do all that today? What do you have in mind? Yeah, a little bit of that jungle floor sex, you know? <laughs> yeah, jungle boogie, I think they call it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah edge so of reality. Right to credits. Yeah. Alright. I'll be new Philip, one of my one of my besties. Yeah. Okay. Rich ham. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I forgot Edge of Reality did this. We talked about them earlier in this, but yeah. No. Oh Jonathan Hoof? Uh-huh. Thomas. Oh, Thomas Stinky. Stink. Dude, sometimes like <laughs> Nothing will ever beat Magnus Fuxner from uh, the credits to Bonnie Mechanics. Yeah. Or Hershebeth S. Ram Clam from some movie that Bob and I saw forever ago. I don't even remember which one. Yeah. Oh, Mike Sneath. There's a weird one, Sneath. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I think we're lucky to have pretty normal names. I mean, we're not going to dox ourselves by giving out our full names. Man, we do have normal last names. Man, Our Families is such a weird name. <laughs> yeah, dude, Middlefelt. Middlefelt, middle fel yeah. There's like five extra letters in there. O'Dwyer. That's yeah. not that weird, but, yeah. Well, like Bud Dwyer, you know, the guy yeah. who shot himself. Yeah. Uh. Chris Hewish. Uh-huh. Is that guy Hugh? Eh, he's Hewish. Hewish. <laughs> yeah, Hewish. That's that's what that's the pun he goes for. Well, yeah. Well, Jason oh, dude, Dark Fox. Dark Fox. Fox. Why does he get a nickname? Uh, because that's his persona. <laughs> it's like, hey, when I'm oh. office lead around here. Oh, go ahead. Dude, did you see the Georgian go? Oh, I, yeah. I, I know it's not pronounced in go. It's Korean. Mark Hoffman. I read Matt Hoffman at first. I was like, what? Dude, Aaron Just Man. Just, <laughs> just Man. Just Man. Rixford. That's a cool one. Marilena Rixford. Yeah. I knew a fell in the way of a... Back in the day. Boldy. I wonder where, where, where that's from. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, dude. The sixth letter first and last name. Rob Lim. That's, that's based. Nice, yeah. You'll be able to fit that on any government form. Scataglini. You know? Like, some people have these long-ass names, and it's like, you know. I'm at, you know, as soon as you get a form where there's a tiny spot, like, how is George Stalowitzer supposed to fit all that on there sometimes? Yeah, it's just George S., and then it's like... Yeah. Have to go back. Public relations. Yeah, we had to do a lot of PR for this. That's where we got Poon and Hussein. Yeah. Uh, there's always a PR team on these, and I don't know. Yeah, what do they do? A legal. Uh, yeah, you have to get the lawyers involved. Yeah. Well, yeah. dude, that guy's a real douche right there. <laughs> Gregory Deutsch. He's a real Deutsch. <laughs> Forward Sean never Capistrano. Straight. Forward never what? straight. Chris Archer. Isn't he a pitcher now? Different Chris Archer, I Probably. know. Jeff Poggenbarger. Poffenbarger. Poff, yeah. Poffenbarger. Yes. Margarita. That's a great first name. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Mrs. Ville. What's your first name? Oh, Margarita. Yeah. Ali uh, Davudian. Yeah. Uh, Mohammed Davudian. It's a family affair. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of people who worked on this game, bro. The ca the family that plays together stays together. Oh, Samantha Fry. Original Pitfall and Burger Maine. Bill Heineman. Main, Main Coon. Why do these guys get nicknames? Dude, Burger's the guy who did the emulation for. Because they include the original Atari games on here Pitfall and Pitfall 2, which a lot of people don't realize Quick Claw was introduced in Pitfall 2 on the Atari. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and here's the voice actors: yeah. Reno Romano, yeah, so Steve Bloom, Bloom, Chris Summer, David Kay. So like people you know. Yeah, womb music. Right. Is that music you play for your baby when it's you know when you're pregnant? Middleware physics system provided by Havoc. Telekinesis Research Limited. Yeah, they're gonna crack the code. Yeah. So yeah, on a, a long, you know, text scroll and some short cutscenes, that's where we officially end Pitfall. Puss has been thwarted, you've saved the girl, but you haven't found everything yet. Be sure to buy everything the Native Shaman has for sale to get a special gift with purchase. And that special gift is Pitfall 2. Oh, okay. You can buy Pitfall 1. Um, yep, you have a new outfit. Nice. Yeah, so there's a whole bunch of cut um, special, uh, you know, codes and cheats. So I might make a video just showing off some of those, just a little short thing. Yeah, yeah. But for the main quest, um, you know, it's it. We're done, and you know, I, I really do like this game. It's a humble game, to to be sure. Mhm. Mm you know, it's not you know that long. There's not a whole bunch of big cutscenes, but actually, like gameplay wise, it is very tight. Yeah, yeah, that was good. And it's colorful again. Like you know, I know we're starting to get a little bit better, but like, when can we just have another three D rendered platform with nice, colorful graphics? Yeah. Next time I play one. <laughs>